I did a crypto episode back in December. I believe it was December 19th, where I talked about different decentralized finance projects that I've bought into. One of them was Morpho, and I want to talk about that again today. This is January 16th when I'm recording this, and so it's been about a month. Now, I know what you're thinking if you're new to my channel. You're probably thinking, oh, great. Here's another super handsome YouTuber, but is there any substance behind him? And I'm going to tell you there is. A little. So DeFi, decentralized finance, is the space that Morpho is in. I never know, my audience, what you know about crypto in general. So let's start with a simple analogy, and I'll get right into it and try to go over it as fast as possible. It had a big announcement, and that's why I'm talking about it today. So if you think about... Generally speaking, the analogy being, let's say, three highways. And each highway is a different layer one, what they call crypto. So you've got highway one, highway two, highway three. Okay, they're all different. They don't connect. So the analogy is simple. Let's say on each highway, you need the same sort of things. To drive on this highway, you need a gas station. To drive on this highway, you need a gas station. To drive on this highway, you need a gas station. Here in the United States, we have convenience stores such as one called 7-Eleven, where you can usually pay 7 to 11% more than you should be paying for the convenience. And you, so you stick one of those on each highway. So you got to stop, you can go to the bathroom, you can fuel up your car, you can get something to eat. So those same things are built on each highway. That's the same with decentralized finance. On each highway, you're going to see, let's just hop on DeFi Llama. For example, you hear me talk about Hedera a lot. If you go to DeFi Llama, you look up Hedera, you scroll down, you'll see that they have DEXs, decentralized exchanges. You can exchange cryptos on that highway. Maybe it's just like exchanging cars or switching cars on a highway. Then you've got lending, borrowing and lending on that highway. So if Hedera was the highway, they've got a decentralized exchange and they have lending. Okay, let's hop over to one called BASE. Now, BASE technically is a layer two because it's built on top of Ethereum, but Coinbase created it. It doesn't have its own coin. That doesn't matter. It's a highway. What's on the highway? Oh, look, decentralized exchanges. You've heard me talk about Aerodrome, that sort of thing. And there's other ones for lending. And lending, here we go, Morpho Blue is the largest. It's called Morpho Blue. I just say Morpho. It's in the lending space. That's the one we're going to talk about. Now, you might also be thinking, hey, Brian, I've watched some of your episodes. Why can't you just like pick one and say, that's the one you think is going to do best. Honestly, because I can't see the future. What I have done is I've picked categories. So I like decentralized finance. So when I showed you Hedera and I said, hey, check it out. There's Saucer Swap. There's Bonzo. Bonzo doesn't have a token yet, but I'm invested in Saucer Swap, for example, and I will be on Bonzo. Then when it comes to base, Aerodrome is their leading decentralized exchange. So I invest in that one. And now we've got Morpho. That's why I bought into Morpho its largest borrowing and lending chain. So now you understand I'm trying to back horses on each of the different highways and they're in, or I should say I'm backing cars, and they're in the same space, decentralized finance on each one of those because I don't know which one's going to do the best. Personally, I think they're all going to do well. I'm excited about anything on the base network because it's Coinbase. And I know for all of you that are very technical, Oh, well, no one wants Coinbase. It's a centralized exchange and you got to use so you can self custody. I, I get all that. It does have a wallet, does have a Coinbase wallet. That's self custody. But for onboarding millions and gazillions of people, it's going to be base. Here's the information that came out that I just saw today on Twitter, uh, x.com. Morpho talking about the fact that crypto backed loans on Coinbase are powered by Morpho. Now, millions of users can borrow against their BTC on Coinbase, borrow against your Bitcoin. I'm sure this will start expanding into other coins. This is just the start. And I was like, I can't be right. So I hopped over to the Coinbase account and yep, Coinbase said, yeah, crypto back loans, that's a repost. Let's go down here. Bitcoin back loans are here. Borrow USDC against Bitcoin. Now, I'm huge on debanking. I have a school account down below where I've got courses. Take a look, it's, there's a link. And I'm going into courses on everything you need to know about buying crypto, selling crypto, but particularly debanking. It's a whole category. I think it's going to explode for those of us that don't like banks and want to use just crypto, to be honest. This is huge. This is yet another way to get loans 
of USDC, which is a stable coin, against crypto assets. Without getting into the details, that's ideally how you want to do it. Why? Because you want to keep the asset, whether it be Bitcoin or anything else, because you believe it's going to be going up. And you want to borrow the USDC, a stable coin, a stable dollar or whatever fiat currency you use, and that's what you pay back. Why borrow a stable coin? Because it doesn't go up and down in value. So you don't have to worry about owing more than you borrowed. That's the short of it. I'm huge on debanking. And to debank, you have to be able to have DeFi and you have to be able to have loans and Coinbase in the base network, I think, is going to explode. And the number one on it is Morpho. Here's Morpho. You can check out their website. Total deposits, that's about $6 billion if I'm reading it right. Total borrow, a little over $2 billion. You can jump in and see how the interface works, but those are the numbers that matter. Now let's look at some of the basic numbers we always look at, and then let's talk about a pricing prediction. Coin market cap, we take a look. $600 million is the market cap. Fully diluted, $3.6 billion. Okay, what is their TVL on base? It is $430 million total value locked. All right, so they have $430 million total value locked, and their market cap is only $600 million. Of course, fully diluted is larger. But to me, that's a small market cap compared to how much they have locked. Now, let's talk about potential Pricing predictions. All right. I don't know, but let's think it through. I think the total market is going to about three to four X. It's around 3.3 trillion. I think it'll get to 12. Let's say that's a multiple of four. I believe this will do as well as the market and I think it will outperform. So if it does as well as the total, that's a four X from the current price of 3.7. Let's call it $4. That would be $16. Now, I really believe that as an altcoin, it's in the category of altcoins, and that would be the others. If you look at others, it's everything except for the top 10. So it's currently around 300 billion. I believe it'll get to 2 trillion. I think others have predicted a lot more. I'm just trying to use a conservative number. So if we go to 2 trillion, 300 billion into 2 trillion, math is hard. I think it's about a 7x. Don't hold me to that. I didn't use a calculator. Okay. It is. So 7X from current price, let's say it's around four bucks. What's that, $28? So I just said, hey, somewhere between 16 and 28, if it just performs with the market, I would be extremely happy with a four to 7X on all of my crypto. I think this will outperform. So I wouldn't be surprised if it does better. So $16 to what I say, $28, I think that's a no-brainer. That's just my opinion. I think this is just the beginning. If you watch my episodes, you know I don't think we're in a bull run yet as of January 16th, 2024, or at the very least, we're at the beginnings of one. So I think this has the possibility to really balloon and skyrocket because the most important thing is it doesn't matter how great your technology is. It doesn't matter how cool it is. If no one's using it, it has no value. So you might say, I know how this works technically and someone else is doing it better, but they're on a highway that no one drives on. So if you put a gas station on a highway and no one's on the highway, are you going to sell any gas? You're not. So base is a highway with an unbelievable amount of users. It's Coinbase. So if you drop a gas station on that highway, you're going to do well. Big dumb animal, not financial advice. That's my opinion. Hope we can all make generational wealth together with crypto. Hopefully this was helpful. Have a great day.